Can you believe it? We finally made it through the year 2020 to Christmas Eve. And I don't know about you, but I sure could use a little hope after the year we've been through. No matter how troubling the times, no matter how heavy our hearts, there is good news, the greatest news. Christmas is the perfect time to remember that hope came into our world in the form of a little baby born in a manger. Before the birth of Jesus, the prophet Isaiah foretold a wonderful event, the coming of the Prince of Peace, who would be the Son of God and would bring hope to all the world. The people who walk in darkness have seen a great light, for a child is born to us, a son is given to us, the government will rest on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God. Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, his government and his peace will never end. He will rule with fairness and justice for all eternity. Almost 300 years passed before the words of the prophet came to be. All right, lights, camera, action. Then God sent his angel Gabriel to deliver a message to a young woman in the small town of Nazareth. The young woman's name was Mary, and she was a virgin engaged to a man named Joseph. Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. Don't be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God, and you will conceive and give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be very great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord will give him the throne of his ancestor David, and he will reign over Israel forever. His kingdom will never end. Mary said, how can this happen? I am not married. The Holy Spirit will come down to you, and God's power will come over you. Your child will be called the Holy Son of God. Mary said, I am the Lord's servant. Let it happen as you have said. Then the angel departed from her. In those days, the Emperor Augustus gave orders that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. Everyone had to go to their hometown to be counted. And because Joseph was descendant of King David, he had to go to Bethlehem in Judah, David's ancient home. He traveled from the village of Nazareth in, Je in Galilee and took Mary and his donkey with him, to whom he was engaged, who was now expecting a child. The journey was long and lasted for many days and many nights. When they arrived in the town of Bethlehem, they were both tired from travel and wanted nothing more than to find a place to rest. They walked the city and checked each inn, but there was no room in any of them. They were about to give up hope when one innkeeper offered to help them. There is no room in my inn, but you may stay in my stable. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So they went to the stable that was dry and warm. On that very night, the time came for Jesus to be born. Mary gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room in the inn.
That night there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared among them, and the brightness of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terrified. Don't be afraid. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. Today in the town of David, the Savior has been born to you. He is Christ. He is Christ. He is Christ the Lord. This has been a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloth, wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger, lying in a manger. Suddenly, suddenly, a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angels. When the angels left, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem. Let's go to Bethlehem. So they hurried off. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby, who was lying in the manger. After seeing him, the shepherds told everyone what had happened and what the angel had said to them about this child. All who heard the shepherd's story were astonished, but Mary kept all these things in her heart and thought about them often. The shepherds went back to their flocks, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. So ends our Christmas story. But the story of Jesus' life doesn't end here. This was only the beginning. At Christmas, we look back at Christ's first coming and his fulfillment of God's promise that a Messiah would rescue his people. And at the same time, maybe this year even more than ever, we look forward with hope to Christ's coming again when he will put an end to sin and suffering and we will see him face to face. Merry Christmas, everyone, and joy to the world. Heaven and heaven and nature sing.